We are here and we are strong Let's be counted as we move on Make a difference, change lives As we tell our different stories We are capable, beautiful We are born to do great things We're unstoppable, incredible Cause we're differently abled Differently Today we focus on breaking down barriers and pushing for a more inclusive society. Let's learn, engage and be inspired together. My name is Jane Theory. Welcome. We're differently abled, differently. Caregivers are the main resource to persons with disabilities. The Action Foundation through the CARE Project seeks to give a more inclusive and supportive environment for children with disabilities and their caregivers. Take a look at that story. We have full responsibility as a woman to stroke our babies to support them and to work with them and to work with them as a child with a child. Children with disabilities cannot survive on their own without caregivers. So caregivers are the cornerstone of children with disabilities. So if there are no caregivers, we do not have like a good system to making sure that these people with uh, disabilities, children with disabilities are actually perform and they can develop well. So that is why there is that importance of caregivers because they, they support essentially the whole thing. So without caregivers, we will not have like good system to make sure that children with disabilities are taken care of. In our busy lives, we often overlook the unsung heroes who provide essential care for loved ones. They are the caregivers, the backbone of our communities. The role of a caregiver in such institution is to, pro to continue with the care post the institutional uh, care that is given by the therapist because the caregiver will be instructed on what to do once they go home and leave the facility. <laughs> lakini unapata kama mtu labda pengine ana postpone akipewa mtoto dawa leo labda pengine amekosa atapewa mtoto dawa hata kama ni kesho lakini kulingana na mafunzo yenu tumepata mtoto ukipawa dawa uki skip skip mtoto anarudi to normal mali penye alikuwa hawezi 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 kuwa hawezi progress they always extend the care beyond health institutions However, to make home care manageable, early diagnosis and care is important despite the overstretched resources. It is important uh, to rehabilitate children with disabilities from the start. The idea is early screening, early uh, intervention so that uh, you lose you don't lose uh, the resources that you may use later when you identify a kid when they are already growing. The earlier the better because you also minimize on uh, the dependence by letting even the parents to be free, uh, by creating an, an environment, uh, enabling an environment to let go uh, children and become uh, independent of themselves or with a little support from uh, caregivers. When we look at our rehabilitative centers, and not just in Nairobi, but uh, in the country as a whole, we see that they have been in a, quite a sad state. And um, I'm looking at um, them holistically to be able to um, deal with the, the issues of the clients, the persons with disability, from the time they are born, as they grow into adulthood and um, even into old age. And we realize that um, these people, the, the, the clients for rehabilitation centers are not a one-off. They don't come today and tomorrow they're not there. It is a lifelong journey. And sometimes their caregivers uh, are set in with fatigue. And because of um, financial constraints or just the day to day of um, I cannot do this another day or tomorrow or I'm exhausted, I need to take a break. Sometimes they don't go through with the full rehabilitative uh, treatment that the child or the person with disability is actually required to go through with. And um, we see that sometimes um, the rehabilitation centers themselves do not have what they need to be able to 
give the person with disability a full rehabilitative service. Where we have a few of these centers, they are kind of clustered within the rehabilitate at the urban areas. So we kind of leave out the rural settings. And in those settings, we still have these persons with disability and they have the same challenges as people within the urban areas. Building a supportive community for caregivers can make a significant difference in their lives. And this is what the Action Foundation has embarked on. Since we started expanding our programs to other informal settlements in Nairobi, we have always thought it's important to bring the caregivers together, one, uh, to share knowledge, for them to network, uh, for, them, for us to impart them skills on self-advocacy, and then also to invite different speakers that can upskill them and expand their knowledge on how to care for their children. I want to feel like uyo mtoto wako uye nyako na challenge ako na challenge because au pia nimewajukumika mpaka wana wanaizielewa condition ya mtoto yao na mimi pia na jamii kwa jumla the children need to grow with other children and even as they go out there are we preparing them are we preparing them for the society that they are going to meet are we preparing them for the interactions that are out there the hardships that other people face Mental health is a crucial aspect of their well-being. It's essential to provide caregivers with resources and support to help them cope with the stresses of their role. Most of the time we find that when you're talking about mental health, we tend to forget the caregivers. And they go through a lot of mental health issues and nobody is taking care of them. And in order for them to take good care of the people they're responsible for, they really need to do what they really need to take care of themselves. Mama ya mtoto ni mwalimu lakini kulingana venye mtoto alikuwa mgonjwa ilibidi aache kasi yake ya walimu na anze kuendelea na kulinda mtoto so haikuwa rahisi kwetu kama familia juu sasa yeye hakuwa na kazi na nami pia kasi yenye nilikuwa naye oh, covid iliharibu nikasimamishwa kasi so sick one option yote. Caregivers are people who give a hundred percent of their time to these um, these people with disabilities. And a lot of times we forget that they too have their needs, they too have their challenges, not just challenges um, with the persons that they are caring for, but even their own personal challenges. And they don't have an option of taking a day off like the rest of us, so you can take time off or do a, go for leave or something. They are um, constantly uh, caring for these people with disability and especially with, for children. And it takes, a, it takes a toll on them. We have a lot of people who have ideas. There are a lot of people who have ideas. There are a lot of people who have ideas. There are a lot of people who have ideas. There are a lot of people who have ideas. There are a lot of people who have ideas. There are a lot of people who so ile mafunzo yenye tumepata hapa imetuwezesha hata nikienda kwa nyumba saa hii niko na ile confidence because tume tume interact mpaka nime realize kumbe si mimi peke yangu ndio niko na hii challenge kuna watu wengi sana yenye wako na hii challenge na si tena makosa yetu the analogy of when you get into a plane and then you are told whenever if something happen put yourself the mask first and then you help another person to put on the mask is the same if you are not able to take care of their mental well if your mental well being that means that you will pro be projecting your mental health issues to the child you are providing for and that means that there is there won't be progress so it is very important if i take care of myself i have enough space to extend the support and the care to other people because i have the right mental capacity to be able to handle it the challenges faced by caregivers are immense. They often sacrifice their own needs to prioritize the well-being of their loved ones. Hao watoto wetu wanakuwa na challenge ya dawa. Na dawa yenye wanatumia especially kama yangu anatumia dawa ya cerebral palsy CP. Na natumia dawa tatu. Na hizo dawa are so 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 much expensive. So hapo ndio naomba kama organization watapata Jukum, ama watakuwa responsible kutusaidia na dawa. Going forward, we're going to have more structured ways of supporting the caregivers to advocate for themselves and for their children in communities, but also at sub-national and national level.
By giving caregivers a platform to share their perspectives, policymakers can gain a deeper understanding of the challenges they face and develop more effective solutions. For policymakers um, who are working on policies that involve children or that involve disability, not having the caregivers at, having a seat at the table, um, one, it means that you are out of touch with what caregivers are going through, what their children are going through. Um, so it's important to make sure that you're involved in caregivers so that the policies that are being developed are really in touch with the realities of children with disabilities, the realities of their caregivers, um, so that that way caregivers' voices are not just heard, but they're having policies that they can actually see and relate with. As the Minister of Health, uh, we need to listen to the caregiver because unless we also listen to them, we may lose the benefits that we may give at an institutional level because uh, there should be continuity of care post the institution. And of course, we plan together. This is part of the engagement with the public and the feedback to us. Going forward, I really hope that um, the government in totality will take this opportunity to actually embrace them, to bring them on board in all decisions that are needed, and not just in um, sectors like education and health. There are many areas where these uh, caregivers and persons with disability need to be thought about carefully because they're within our society, they're within our communities. We are not only limited to the current partnerships that we have with the various stakeholders. We are, as a government, we are open to building more partnerships. And the spirit of the government is uh, public-private partnerships because you know the government cannot do everything. We need uh, to pull resources together. Well, it's important to amplify the voice of caregivers because first, uh, a child with a disability's well-being is 100% dependent on the caregiver's well-being. Um, and a supported caregiver equals a supported child. We take a short breather, but we'll be right back with more. Don't go too far. We're differently abled, differently.